In this video, I'm going to discuss what a woman is most likely going to be attracted to in a male partner according to her Mars. Now, just for brevity purposes, I'm not going to go through every possible Mars sign, but I am going to go through uh, water Marses, Earth Marses, air Marses, and fire and discuss a little bit about uh, what that likely means in terms of what the woman with the Mars placement is likely to be attracted to. A couple disclaimers just at the start. I know that not all women are attracted to men. Uh, this video can still be applicable though, obviously, right? It just speaks more to uh, what masculine traits uh, the woman is interested in, whether that be in a male or not in a male. Additionally, this is always a little bit of a generalization. You can't really totally discuss attraction uh, purely based on, you know, the sign of one planet. You'd have to look at the holder's complete chart, all the planet positions, house positions, aspects, of course, all of that. But this is just um, a, a little bit of a, of a piece of the puzzle, and I think you'll find it interesting. So if a woman has Mars in an air sign, Typically, she's going to be attracted to men or she's gonna be attracted to masculine traits um, that are associated with intellect, right? She's strongly attracted to a strong intellect. She's attracted by intelligence, by smarts. She's typically going to uh, be polarized and be attracted to males or masculine individuals that she feels like she has a rapport with, that, you know, she feels like she has a, a friendship with. For, for these individuals, it's literally, you know, friendship first, and that leads to physical attraction, that leads to sexual attraction. Is this a male that the female could, you know, stay up all night talking to? Do they have great conversation? Do they have great banter? Can the male keep her stimulated intellectually? Is he fun to text? Is he clever? Does he have a charm? Does he have a way with words? Like all these things, for a woman with an Air Mars are gonna be extremely uh, big green flags. Typically these women will also want a, a male partner or a, a masculine partner that is maybe a little bit more, um, I'll say like metrosexual in a way that there's a, a refinement. Uh, the male is going to have a good sense of how they style themselves, how they present themselves, how they dress. There's a thoughtfulness there. There's a, an expression there. And this is especially true for uh, women with uh, Mars in Libra and in Gemini to Aquarius. Um, also to some extent, but it's, it's always going to be, there's going to be a deliberateness in, in how the male presents themselves. And that's going to be something that's, that's going to be of note to the Mars woman. The Air Mars woman is not just looking for a meat and potatoes guy that like doesn't know how to, you know, doesn't know personal hygiene, doesn't know how to wash his hair, doesn't know how to wear a clean shirt. A woman with an Air Mars is looking for a little bit more thoughtfulness and, and demonstration of harmony and uh, just kind of an ability to, to be thoughtful, to demonstrate thoughtfulness, all these things are all tied up in, uh, you know, what uh, uh, an Air Mars female is looking for. On the other hand, women with a Mars and an Earth sign are really looking for that sort of traditional masculine male or that traditionally masculine person, more of actually the meat and potatoes kind of guy. You know, someone that is really no nonsense, someone that isn't going to cause a lot of drama, a, uh, a person that uh, has learned the ability to, to self-regulate, right, and have uh, some control over their emotions, or maybe even there's someone that uh, represses their emotions a little bit, just at least in comparison to the, to the woman, right? The woman is typically going to be the more sort of uh, emotional one in the relationship, or she kind of wants that more traditional uh, polar relationship. A woman with a Earth Mars is going to want a partner that is able to kind of lead the relationship, to kind of be the rock in the relationship, uh, someone that stands strong in their own frame. And, you know, not for nothing, uh, a woman, anytime she has her Mars and an Earth sign, she's going to be a force, she's going to be strong and independent, and she is going to uh, be very value driven and very hard headed about those values and she's gonna to wanna to challenge a partner. And so she's looking for someone that won't just bow down or you know, be a little bit uh, subservient to that. She wants someone that can meet the challenge, someone that will challenge her back, someone that is uh, strong, has a backbone, ultimately so that 
you know, in the partnership unit and the relationship unit, those wills can kind of be combined, you know, for further manifestation, for, you know, the, the goals of the partnership, etc. Now, a woman with a Mars in a water sign, she is looking primarily for um, a man or a partner with masculine qualities that represent a, a intensity, right? An emotional intensity. And uh, this can be displayed by a partner in, in many different ways. Sometimes it's, it's sort of the silent, brooding, quiet type where you sense there's a lot of depth underneath, right? The, the person where we could say, you know, still waters run deep. Or, you know, sometimes it, it's someone that's more just uh, overtly a passionate, someone that really wears their heart and their emotions on their sleeve and is not afraid to express it. It's not to say that a woman with a water Mars wants a partner that's, you know, weak or uh, emotionally dysregulated or all over the place. She still appreciates, um, you know, groundedness and strength, but she, she uh, understands that the ability to express one's emotions, to really be direct in how one is feeling, to communicate nuances of emotion, and to, to really be vulnerable um, in, in sharing those things, uh, you know, the female knows that there's a lot of strength required to do that and she really appreciates a partner that has that particular brand of strength and so um, you know that in, that intensity is desired she also thinks about uh, physical and sexual attraction and polarity in terms of commitment and and presence and depth right she's not necessarily one for more surface level or you know more just kind of mechanical physical level interactions not to say that she can't be but by and large that 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 real drive and connection that real raw attraction for her is going to be triggered by a partner that wants to go in really deep right and is not afraid of that she's looking at someone that has that that softness that, that has that sensitivity that's you know not afraid or their their masculinity isn't threatened by them you know sometimes showing emotion or uh, crying in certain moments right she's also not looking for an extremely independent kind of partner not an independent masculine partner right she's looking for someone uh, that want that wants to be all in the woman with a water Mars is going to really want to feel wanted, right, and needed, you know, wanted and needed by the male partner. A woman that has her Mars in a fire sign is going to be attracted to males or um, individuals with masculine traits that represent that fire sign or are consistent with fire energy. So she's going to be lit up, she's going to be excited, she's going to be attracted to individuals and males that have that raw just excitement, that demonstrative energy she likes when people are sort of the life of the party and, and demonstrate their individuality in a very conspicuous way. She's also generally extremely attracted to, to more traditionally masculine types. A partner that can demonstrate strength, like a physical strength, like literally um, raw athleticism, like being able to impress uh, by doing something cool in like a gym class, right? It, it's literally uh, still very applicable for a woman that has a fire Mars. She is impressed by that. She wants someone that uh, can demonstrate that uh, ability, that excitement, that passion. She wants someone that is very warm, right? And throughout the dating and romantic and relationship process, she wants someone that is going to be unafraid or unabashed in uh, delivering these grand romantic gestures, someone that is going to inject a lot of novelty and excitement and is going to really like sweep her off her feet. A lot of uh, surprises, exotic dates, exotic excursions, adventure, like a male or, or uh, you know, a masculine partner that can deliver those things, that's going to really hit the node for a woman with Mars and a fire sign. She will respect someone that 
can take the initiative, right? Someone that probably can be the leader of the relationship, right? She really likes that. Someone that is not afraid to, to walk in front. And someone that's not going to like look to her for cues and be like, oh, is this okay? Is this no, she wants like, you know, a, a real leader in every sense of the word, a leader of the relationship. And that's gonna make her feel inspired, excited, stimulated, and she's gonna be tremendously uh, proud uh, of her partner. She wants someone that she can kind of show off and be very proud of and that she can show off to her friends and you know the rest of her world.